Good morning and welcome back to another video. In this video we will be making a shelf for our dishes. You probably have seen it from the thumbnail. I hope it looks good and we did a good job. So that's what we will be making now. You will see the process. And we will be using the woods we took from the small barn that we took down. So let's get started. Because it is late, we have done a lot of work and we need to keep going. So let's go.
So this is the side for the shelves and instead of being just plain wood we decided to make some nice curves here using an old tire yeah. uh, which we don't need anymore. Yeah and we're gonna copy paste it on that So one. the bottom is gonna be a bit smaller shelf so it's a bit of a smaller curve then the top one looks nearly like a complete curve with a bit missing here but here it goes and it cuts off a bit more. So it's gonna be a bit spiky there so let's cut that out with the jigsaw and see yeah. how it looks. Okay sounds good. We have put it together. I don't know if we didn't show much of putting it together because I had to hold and help, but that's the finished pro pro project for now. I don't know if we mentioned, but these woods are from the little farm we took off. There were actually shelves over there as well, so they're becoming another shelf. So it's really useful that we took down the barn. It's giving us a lot of projects. So let's keep lacking. Let's start lacking because I think it's 11 o'clock and we need to do a second coat. So we're gonna have enough time. So let's go do the first one. First coat. I cannot talk today. Looks really cool. And you saw that what's how they look. They looked really not usable. But yeah, once you take care of it, not take care of it. They are a bit rotten and eaten, yeah, but uh, they're really hard. That's so. the top anyways, and here's not gonna be many things. It's gonna be more decorative things going on, such as uh, a can or a tea can and those kind of things. This one needs to be solid because that's gonna be the plates. So that needs to be. Eh, still, it's not even close to the weight they can hold. No. If you see the IKEA or all the other um, shops that are selling things, they're like half of the thickness. And they're made from stuffed wood, <laughs> and which they're made is from wood. So not think, strong. As strong as a solid on. piece. And we put it together because we thought it's gonna be more complicated to lack it whenever. Because it, it would take us like two, three days to lack one side two times and then the other side. So this side we're not lacking, so that's why we put it like that. It's a bit, it's a bit tricky to do it, but it I think in the end it's easier. Yeah. You should never cheap out on brushes. This time we didn't cheap out. We actually bought one of the expensive ones, but if you're doing projects on low budget, just cheap out on anything else, but not on brushes if you're lacking, because it is a pain to take every single hair out. And as I said, this one's one of those expensive ones and it's still leaving hairs out. So never, never cheap out on brushes. And buy correct brushes for each shop. Yes, because we have some other ones, they are not for lacking or for painting walls, they're just made for water-based lacks. I have finished the first layer. I think I have no leaves, I've done a really thin layer. So I think we'll need to do definitely two layers, I don't know, about three. It's already dry pretty much in some places where it has soaked it in quite a bit. So the problem is we need to wait 24 hours before we can do the second layer. 
I thought it was eight hours and then I was thinking maybe four hours <laughs> but no it needs to be 24 hours I don't know why but we're gonna do it correctly and proper so we're gonna wait and you will see me tomorrow morning this could have been a two-day project but with all this waiting exactly like the same thing in the storage room <sighs> it's getting stretched and the heat on top of it oh, <laughs> so see you tomorrow <laughs> well in a second We don't have the second day, the next day in 24 hours, but we have, I think, eight hours later and I can touch it and it is rough, it is fully dry. So I think in that heat, it's gonna dry easily. It's like, even where I did the fat layer, it's fully dry. So I'm just gonna do the second layer and tomorrow morning I'm gonna do the third one because I think it's needed. Because here it might be okay, but here you can see the difference between <laughs> the a bit more rotten wood just sucked everything in. No, actually this whole wood soaked everything in. Yeah. Look at that wood, and then look at that wood. It's hard to tell on camera, of course. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I wish you could touch it. This they are a bit rotten, but don't worry. Yeah, we said They're that really is... strong, you can sit on them. Yeah. So, I'm gonna do the second leg. Ah, something's biting me. I think I'm gonna start there where I started before, so I'm gonna yeah. go all around. <laughs> So good. I thought they were awful first time I bought them because I was trying to screw them in, but these are nails and screwing is just to take them out. So they are extremely tight if you do it with hammer, but really extremely good. shit if you do it with the nail, <laughs> as I screw, because they're not screws. Yeah, we're messing up. Where was it the first time? In the bathroom? Uh, no, in the um, top of the oh, window. Yeah. Like that you can hang from. Okay. Looks good. Yeah.
weeks, I think, or three weeks even. We've been using it for a while. I really like it. I was actually scared that it's gonna be too high for me to grab the dishes, but it's perfect. I don't even need to go on my tiptoes. It's perfect. And up here we have things that we rarely use or pretty much never use. For example, this way is more like decorative. This one I've never used and that one I've never used. This one I've used, but I can get on a chair to get those things, so it's not the, the worst to be up there. Here we have all the dishes. It works really good. The small dishes it was a bit tricky, but they put a wood behind, I think, right? They put something behind because they were falling sideways. But I think it works really good and I like how it looks. I would not like to have a closed box here. I think it will ru ruin the look of the house. So let us know what you think if you like it. And uh, yeah, it's actually not finished. We want to put a light for now. We have, where is it? For now we have this light we put in front here. But we don't want to have this KO mess going on here. So we want to put probably a light strap on the bottom, only on the bottom. So we also get some light here because we lost quite a bit of light while we do things over here. But that's how it looks. Also, my mom has arrived and Enjoy very much. she actually has been here for you. She just arrived, but she has actually been here for a month or for a month and she's leaving next week. But you will be seeing her in the next videos. It's gonna be sad for me editing, but you will be enjoying all our jam making and all kinds of things we will be doing. It will yeah. be very juicy. It's gonna be very <laughs> juicy and very sweet, the upcoming videos. So it's all gonna be about garden and sweet things. But I hope you enjoyed. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye bye. bye. We're gonna be also doing some things with Mama, some kind of crafting thing. Bye bye. <laughs>